from a division of Anao del Norte, the land of beauty and bounty. This is Jennifer Ricafort Intong, Senior Education Program Specialist for Human Resource Development Section. With my research, Instructional Supervisory Rule of Master Teachers and Learners' Academic Achievement, a Correlational Study. Teachers play a big role in building the nation. With quality educators, the country can produce holistic and competent learners armed with vital competencies and prepared to serve the country for sustainable development. This is in relation to the dream of the Department of Education of producing Filipinos who passionately love the country with principles and capabilities that maximize their skills and talents to contribute profoundly to building the nation. In the Philippine educational system, teachers' teaching performance are being supervised by the school leaders for improvement. One of the instructional leaders in the Department of Education is the master teacher. Aside from the teaching responsibilities, master teachers as instructional supervisors are required to concentrate on the development of the newbie teacher who performs classroom instruction. Hence, master teacher should give priority as well in the provision of instructional supervision to the teachers in school. Although there was much research on instructional supervision conducted, only few have focused on the rules of the master teachers as one of the instructional leaders in the school and how their instructional supervisory activities contribute to the learner's academic performance. In addition, hardly any studies have concentrated on the instructional supervisory rules of the master teachers and the contribution of instructional supervision activities to the academic achievement of the learners. Involving the learner's academic achievement in the study will help the researcher to identify the quality of instruction offered by the teachers because of the instructional supervision given by the master teachers. Hence, this study was conducted. Instructional supervision is conducted in school by the instructional leaders to capacitate teachers on the skills and methods to mold learners to be competent. This study investigated the rules of the master teachers as instructional supervisors and its correlation to the learner's academic achievement. Specifically, this study wanted to answer the following questions. Number one, what is the level of instructional supervisory rules among master teachers in public elementary schools? Number two, what is the academic performance of the learners under the supervision of the master teacher respondents? Number three, what is the relationship of master teacher supervisory rules and their learner's academic achievement? For the scope and limitation, this study investigated the instructional supervisory rule of master teachers and its correlation to learner's academic achievement in the division of Lanao del Norte for the school year 2020-2021. The respondents of the study were the 30 master teachers from the 10 central elementary schools of the five municipalities in the division of Lanao del Norte. Respondents were selected randomly. The academic performance of the learners was limited to the results of the first and second quarterly division achievement test. Division achievement test was used to identify the usefulness of supervisory rules of master teachers on learners' academic achievement. Moreover, this research employed the correlational research approach. This study utilized 30 master teachers from the 10 central elementary schools of the five municipalities 
in the division of Lanao del Norte. Respondents were selected randomly. The 10 central elementary schools of the five municipalities in the division of Lanao del Norte were the research locale of the study. These schools are located at the rural and urban areas of the province of Lanao del Norte and were purposively selected by the researcher to have a good mix of the respondents' profile. This study utilized a 13-item research-made checklist. Prior to the conduct of the study, the said checklist was piloted first to 15 master teachers from the municipalities which were not included in the list of respondents. Permission was secured first from the Division and Regional Research Committee before the start of the data gathering. Observance of health protocols during the data gathering was also observed. Proper code of conduct was observed in the collection of data. This was done by letting the respondents sign a document that states that their participation in the study is voluntary and their responses in the interview will be kept confidential. All data gathered was safely kept. The data gathered was analyzed and interpreted using a statistical tool like the SPSS. With the assistance of a statistician, responses were coded to enter the data into the computer for statistical analysis, which focus in addressing the research questions. For the results and discussion on the respondents' instructional supervisory rules, the data revealed that all supervisory activities were always observed in schools by the master teachers with average weighted mean of 1.3, which is equivalent to always. It shows that the development of the skills and teaching techniques of the teachers was established, which leads to the improved learners' academic outcomes. For the learners' academic performance under the supervision of master teachers, the data revealed that the main learners' academic performance is 88.835, which is interpreted as very satisfactory. The result implies that the constant practice of master teachers supervising activities contributed largely to the academic performance of the learners. The relationship of master teachers' instructional supervisory rules and learners' academic achievement. So, the data revealed that the instructional supervisory rules of master teachers and the academic performance of the learners are significantly correlated with a p-value of less than 0 0.001. This entails that the supervisory activities conducted by the master teachers relates to the academic performance of their learners. For the recommendation, Based on the findings cited by the researcher, it is recommended to capacitate the master teachers on the skills in supervising their co-teachers in the delivery of instructions. It is also recommended to strengthen the implementation of DepEd TOGA or the Teacher Observed and Given Assistance Program during the classroom observation. In response to the challenges brought by the pandemic, master teachers are encouraged to plan and initiate in-service trainings and learning action cell sessions to address the needs of the teachers for professional development. So these are my references. Thank you.